Hey, it's Michael. A little road noise here. I'm on my way to the airport and i um, thinking a little bit about this thing called the value proposition and why so many salespeople and even consumers wrestle with it. This idea that, that uh, you're getting ready to purchase something from somebody and, um, um, you know, you just can't quite pull the trigger on it. It's be because something bothers you about it. You don't quite see that it's the right thing for you or whatever. And from the other end of the window pane, the salesperson's having trouble getting people to bite the hook because he's worked really hard, she's worked really hard to get this presentation together, but somehow it's just not, it's just not, uh, the value's not materializing in the prospect's mind. And uh, it occurs to me that this value prop, man, it's so important that it be obvious and undeniable, as my brother Joe says, because if it's not, they have to figure it out. Um, I think that the order should be, yes, I want it. Let's figure out the details. And the details include how to find the money to make it happen, right? And too many people get it in the wrong order. They're thinking about you know, how to pay for it first. That means they don't see the value. So the salesperson's job is to make sure that that the value prop is so obvious that the details come later, right? Uh, we'll figure this out. And again, from the other side of the coin, the consumer, if the consumer has to pencil it out and strategize it and and work, work on all the details first, it's probably not a good fit for them. They're just trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. That's how important the value proposition is. More selling tips at michaelangelocaruso.com. And before you go, please click subscribe on my YouTube channel. It, it helps the channel perform better, and then we can help more people. See you soon.